Hello everyone, I'm James Wu from Dinstar. Today I will continue the tutorial for FXS topic. Okay, since the uh, last uh, tutorial I covered uh, how to configure FXS. And uh, uh, today I will kind of continue introduce one of the, uh, maybe the if you use FXS gateways, you maybe face some problems or issues. So I will introduce some the way to debug your system or, or uh, configure your system to correct your solution or maybe give you the advice okay and uh, last tutorial I, I i create the one port for fss already and uh, this is the port number is all the parameters related to the fss okay and uh, from here we can see that uh, there are a lot of the parameters related to fss and c uh, match the parameters one by one and of course you always always have maybe you you face some problem some issues due to some uh, improperly configuration and so on so we can go the advanced and after then you go to the fx fxo parameter we can see here they are in the top area okay this is very uh, generic uh, parameters if you face any problem for ps you can always change here and uh, there are, I think, the three parameters you have to consider or you, you, you must consider here. And the first one is called progress tone. And uh, sometimes, you know, we always uh, receive some uh, customer complaint or a customer report for uh, improperly, you know, call progress tone or want to configure call progress tone. How to configure it? Okay, you can go here. Uh, under these options, there are a lot of the uh, core progress tool. This is a protocol for the PSD line. Okay, the support we support the many countries. You can select your country from the list, or maybe select the country your 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 country support, but your country not the release yet uh, list here. Okay, this is very possible. For example, some country you know follow the US standards. Some country follow UK standards and so on so please go here to check okay and uh, sometimes we also face some problem for example like uh, the core volume core wise volume is very low or very high how to configure that you always can go to here there's again okay gaim is uh, for adjusting the core volume tx gain means like uh, transformation transmission gain okay means like uh, my voice to maybe talk to remote side then you you may be very the, the voice volume is very low you can adjust here and rx i mean means i receive the voice volume from remote side you also can adjust here and uh, you can adjust the volume or maybe from different uh, energy here but please make sure if you adjust the volume on Please make sure you don't adjust too high or too too big, too big or too high or too small. Okay, the volume is quite different. Okay, uh, adjust properly and make sure the the, the volume is uh, uh, correct. If you adjust that the volume is very high or volume very low, then it will be maybe cause other problem. For example, like uh, uh, noise and so on. So please make sure you adjust properly and uh, you write the value, okay? And uh, sometimes you know we may make a course uh, during the course setup. Maybe we 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 there is no RTP already. So when FIS can detect RTP, you know if you there is no RTP, then maybe during the sometime some period and the FIS will 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 be hang up automatically, okay? So it's very useful parameters for the, you may maybe face some problem, okay? And uh, here is for FXS par parameters, it's very particular for the FXS. If you got any uh, issues, you always can enable it. that. For example, call ID, CID problems, FSK, or maybe the hook flex problems and so on. Sometimes, you know, uh, maybe we face some um, fixed problems. 
Sometimes we, we use the, for example, we use FX, FX machine connect to our FFS, maybe transfer to SIP, maybe transfer to SIP to EFX or virtual FX. So, uh, so you have to, you know, support certain parameters, support certain way to do that. Okay, there's a way to configure the, all the possible models to support remote site. Okay. Of course, you maybe face some problem for example, media parameters and uh, other SIP parameters. I will cover the, all the topic later. Okay, since this is a very basic tutorial, so I we only covered FXS today. Of course, you always can refer to our website to to check the our user menus and so on. And we offer the very detailed user menus. If you got the any problems, you can download the user manual to, to check the parameters, how to set up parameter. And we not only provide the user menu, but uh, we also provide some, uh, you know, the very professional support. If you got any problems, you always can contact our technical guy, which maybe attach your system logs and so on. We will give you very sufficient, very professional support immediately. Okay. So today is our topic. Um, I covered uh, how to configure FAS and uh, if you face some problems, for example, call progress, tone, tone problems, scan problem, RTP problem, you always consider to check here. And uh, I also covered uh, some parameter for FAS. If you got FAS, uh, set up problem, FL issues, you always can check here. So today is uh, all the topic here. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.